Alright, we're going to start with the components of the game, but first let's start with the types of cards that are in the game. Now you have, this one is the monster cards, and as you see here, this is the level of the monster, it's a level 10. This is the name of the monster, it's the Poison Ivy Cut Zoo Plant, Flytrap. The monster's Richmond text, like special abilities, it's special movements and stuff like that. And then you have the bad stuff, this happens when you can't defeat the monster. And you you cannot you fail to run away. So if you fail to run away, you deal with the bad stuff. Now sometimes the bad stuff will be like you lose a level. If you can't lose a level because you're at level one, you will take a, heart, a hit point of damage on your hearts. I'll explain how that all works a little bit later. You have the combat dice that the monster gets. In this case, it shows one dice, so he's going to get one die to his combat. Then you have the type in the bottom. This is a type. It's a plant. Some cards will allow you to hurt um, things that they're plants or some rooms get bonuses at their plants and stuff like that. The uh, number of levels you get, this one says one level, so if you beat this monster you're going to gain one level. And then down here it says the treasure type, the number of treasures, you're going to get three uh, random treasures from the treasure deck. So that's how you read that card. Then you have the DMX cards, which these cards are whenever you explore a new area that the dungeon that hasn't been explored before. You also get this card if your color comes up on initial die roll on monster movement or or monster target, which I'll which will be in full play. And it tells you all the little special abilities. Some of them will have like certain conditions you can only play them in. So that's that one. And then last but other cards is the the treasure cards. Treasure cards um, come in different varieties, items, weapons, and this and armor. In this case, this one's a weapon, and on the top is the bonuses. This one means you get plus five when you battle a monster. So basically, you basically if you're level one, you're gonna be basically imagine you're gonna be basically add um, a five to that level, so you're gonna technically be level six and you know you're level one. Then you got the name of the weapon. Uh, some weapons have specific, um, they'll say other stuff in them where if you can't play them. This one says Monster Spro, that's the type of bow it is. Sometimes uh, the keywords in the game that some, um, then you have the how many hands it requires you to hold it. This one says two hands. And if you choose to sell it, this is how much it's worth if you decide to sell it to go up a level. Certain dungeons will allow you to sell stuff and that's the value that's worth when you want to sell it. That's the cards. Now onto the uh, other components. We have the tile, um, the looted out and ransacked tile. These are used whenever you um, search a room and the result on the chart will tell you if it's uh, looted out or ransacked. Looted out means you can't do anything with the room anymore. Ransacked you get a minus to search rooms. Then you have the linked tiles. These are come in um, letters A through E I think and they're paired. These are whenever you decide to drop loot in a dungeon or you die. All your car, um, items attached to your character go with this so other people can pick it up when they search that room. Um, then you have your gold pieces. These come in different denominations. I believe it's 1, 3, and 100, 300, and 500. You start out with 300. Then you have the two-sided hearts, healed and wounded. You get four of these to start off with. Then you have the feet. There's the green, which means that you haven't used them yet, and then the red when you used them. So you start off with three feet, and if any time you have, whenever you have uh, equipped items, like if you have more than one big item equipped to you, you start losing feet for each one you have. So you just, as you use your feet, you basically uh, will spend them. Then we have the uh, monster die. It's in six colors that correspond to the player colors and the little arrows that are on the boards as you link tiles up. Of course, there's none on this one right now. Then we have the link tiles. These have two sides to them. You randomly draw these and attach them to the dungeons. This is the symbol meaning what kind of room it is. Some monsters can go through secret doors. 
they have no particular um, special to you, but they are to the monsters. And the number means how much movement you need to go to expend to go in that room. Now, the rule states, though, if you, for some reason, don't have the full movement at the beginning of your turn, say you had too many big items that weighed you down, you can expend all your movement and go to that room regardless. So it's basically you're allowed one room. Then the big old bag of dungeons tiles, which is the next. And these are double-sided. They have the name. And then these little symbols, the green means that they're good for that particular um, race, class, or whatever, or gender. Uh, this one means it's bad for this race or gender or special. So these make a big influence on how powerful monsters are. And then this rich text tells you it's um, whether it's going to he help monsters, help you, or it's special abilities that the room can do for you once it's clear to monsters. And these little arrows here represent the um, colors that correspond to the die that the monster moves on when the die is rolled. So, that's what we have here. Then, <clears throat> we have the monsters. And they come in a lot of variety. You got the really tiny. You got the little bit bigger, medium. Human sized. And, oh, oh my gosh, I'm going to get killed by these giant things, monsters. So, those are the different varieties of those. You also have your level counters that start at level 1 and you work your way to level 10. Once you're at 10, you get out of the dungeon. You have your standard two six uh, two six sided dice for each player, three stand, uh, stands of their color, and their figurine. And last but not least, the 10 sided dice. This is used for when you have special powers in the game that are according to your race or um, your. Class, so. so now I get that out of the way so let's go with the flow of play how many minutes did I spend on that 